It's a good thing those vines are like ropes. Just kindly placed like that. Yeah. You know, just vines growing everywhere that oh, yeah. can stably hold a human. Uh-huh. But, uh, back to what I was saying about, uh, I started playing this game Slime Rancher. <laughs> Heavily addicting. <laughs> oh, God. Well, that's good. That's what a game should be. It, I don't know. Because it, it doesn't necessarily Bunch have... addicted to Yeah, it. exactly. It literally doesn't... <laughs> it's literally... Um, just a farm of... Farm simulator, thing? kind of, kind of. Oh. It's not farm. It's not like far it's not like actual farm simulator 2015 or 2020, like that crap. Uh -huh. But it's just literally, you pick up these things called slimes, which are just animals, and they all have all different types. Uh -huh. And you feed them stuff, and they poop out crystals, which are worth something. Which I don't even know in that universe what they're used for besides monetary value. And they show you like an entire stock market of the price going up or down depending on needs. Hmm. I don't know if I could actually. I don't know if I it's gotta be play something me. like that. To be honest, no offense. It's not everybody's cup of tea yeah. for survival. <laughs> Oof! <laughs> you didn't even bother grabbing the ledge. I think it's the repetition that gets me when I play. When I play games that are like, kind of, where you just kind of do stuff like that, and I just start questioning life, and then I stop playing. <laughs> Why am I here? Why do I play this game? Yeah. Why are any of us here? Hell, I was doing that yesterday when I was playing Metal Gear Solid 5. I don't think a running jump is gonna... Like, I... Because I, I was replaying missions that the game forced you to replay. And I was like, why am I doing this? Mainly it's because I wanted to play all the Metal Gear Solid games in chronological order, because there's still some no. that I haven't played. Mm-hmm. There's still one I'll probably never play, Portable Ops, so I kind of skipped that one, just because it's a PSP exclusive, and I don't want to find my PSP to play it. <laughs> and, yeah, I can't imagine the controls in that being any good, considering it's a PSP game. With one analog stick. Thinks Kevin's got this parkour thing down yeah. now. Yeah. It's a little weird, but... It gets better. You get used to it, yeah. It gets better. Oh, well, and the games, yeah. Uh, With f future installments, yeah. It's amazing. Well, now we have to get the other one. You know what? Uh, games have superior platforming. Probably, inf oh! probably Infamous and Sly Cooper have really good, like, one of the best it's platforms. Sucker Punch is really good with traversal mechanics. Yeah. Same with uh, Insomniac. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, the Spider-Man game is pretty good oh, yeah. when it comes it's to awesome. that, yeah. Spider-Man made, Insom or Spider or Insomniac made Spider-Man, right? We should, yeah. we should play Spider-Man PS4 yeah. sometime on this mm -hmm. channel. I don't mind that. I have it. I yeah. played it for like 30 minutes. I like it. I haven't played it at all. Or I have, I have never, actually I played one Spider-Man game. very cinematic, I like it. Uh -huh. I, I can't help but hear Ben 10 every time I play it, though. <laughs> yeah, Yuri Lowenthal. Yeah. Well, he's in everything. He is another person who's in everything. He's in this. Yeah, he is. He's one of the guards. He plays, he plays yeah, the, some he's, of the... He's in every game we've played, actually, except for Resident Evil. Really? Think, yeah. He was in Dead Rising. He was one of the survivors, I think. Huh. Mm. Uh, and Metal Gear Solid 3, he he did actually... He didn't voice anyone in Metal Gear Solid 3, but he did some of the mocap. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, same thing with five. He did all the mocap. Uh, oh, you should. You're lucky. You I shouldn't always... be able to stand on stained glass like that. But okay, it's magical. It's special. It's magical stained glass. <laughs> it's magic. It's magic. Do you believe in magic? Mm -hmm. In an ancient temple, church thing. Yeah. Well, hello there. <laughs> You gotta be kidding. <sighs> hey, Sully. I'm here. Remember Roman and Navarro? That red herring you set them on to get them out of the way? Yeah? Well, they're sitting right on top of the treasure vault. <laughs> oh, of all the goddamn luck. Look, I'm gonna need a diversion to get them out of there. You got it, kid. One diversion. Coming right up. And Sully. Yeah? What's that song in the mausoleum? But come through the catacombs. It's safer that way. Gotcha. 
Now I've just got to get past all these goons without getting noticed. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Oh yes, the stealth mechanics in this game, unparalleled. I it, I was able to kill like maybe like four or five of these guys at the very most. Yeah. It, also, stealth doesn't really matter in this. Oh uh, hell no! Sullivan has escaped. Spread out. Find him. Wow, you just found out. That happened like uh an hour ago. There's no crouches there. Nope. nope. Only dodge roll. We could just snipe all of them. Too bad hmm. we don't have suppressed weapons yet. Uh uh. So stealth doesn't matter. Nope. Stealth is optional. Is optional, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, what if those guys cross? Can you shoot them with one bullet? I really doubt that. It would be oh. cool. <laughs> hey, is there a game with the uh, Se Sega 12 in it? There he is. Uh, you didn't even know that I was there. Battlefield. Ah, not played any of those. He didn't. There was no way that he could have known. All not he said was, you're there! And he That's turned... because there was another guy. Yeah, saw that guy you. didn't see you. The other guys did. Yeah, the, there was another guy across from him. He was behind the tree. <laughs> well, that and... guy didn't see you. Yeah. <laughs> I know that for certain. God. Love this gun. <laughs> Love this gun. There are uh, many better sniper rifles in real life, Drake. Dragon was good. Or uh, what about what about the L ninety six that it took mm. three people to make? <laughs> oh yeah, three people in a garage. In a garage, and uh, I heard a story that they had to have people come inspect their uh, workshop. Yeah. Oh. So they just rented a shop, mm -hmm. and the people came and inspected really? it. Really, the L ninety six? Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. made by three people That's in a, a garage. Great. That's a great story. And the military, sniper. and they entered it in a competition. And they only won. sent one copy of it. They made the one because they wanted to enter the the British sniper trials as a joke. So they sent one copy of it, the original copy that they made, and they're like, we're not going to win. Turns out only one other company uh, submitted, and, and they won, and then... It became the standard rifle mm, for... Yeah, and it, became yeah. The, and it became the standard for them. So what happened was they rented a, uh, a shop... And just filled it with random machinery. Machinery, Ho workbenches, tools. And yeah. hoping that the British officer wouldn't, like, r <laughs> realize. Which, and then the, the, the British officer was like, wait, you guys literally just rented this to make the rifle? And they're like, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, whoa, you guys were the only ones. The other guys dropped out, so I guess you guys get the contract. <laughs> and, like, and the officer's like, you want to go get a sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> I, and I'm not... I, heard the, I heard the story go the other way. The yeah. story was is that um, they, they made the gun, and the, and the guys who um, were coming to inspect their warehouse, or the, the gun itself in their warehouse, they rented a warehouse, got all the necessary machinery, tools, workbenches that made for at least a... A couple dozen people to uh, be working on it, and they came in, uh, looked at it, and the officers invited them to lunch. And they're and the guys like, yeah, this is just a formality. We just want to make sure that you weren't three guys in a small garage making this weapon. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> Where's the rest of your workers? Oh, they're out to lunch. I was yeah. Like, hey, you want to go to lunch? <laughs> Mine was like the shorthand, but I was under the impression that that they found out like after, and they're like, wow, it's these possible. guys really make yeah. a, good, a good rifle. Can't imagine that's something they would be able to keep for secret for long. But that's Isn't the, it? That's, I heard it the way Parker said. Three, three, the original was NATO, I believe, but uh, they, they had to upgrade it. There's multiple versions of it. You know, I actually heard that story through Fallout New Vegas in this uh, Fallout modded playthrough. Oh, really? Mike Burnfire, good channel to check out. They do like a weekly, uh, they play through like mods for like 30 minutes of playthrough. Hoping they would play mine one day, but I haven't seen it this yet. This is awkward. But basically, uh, they're both ex-military. 
And one of the guys is a huge gun nut, so every time they pick up a new gun, he goes on like a 20 minute rant about the gun <laughs> that they got. And he kind of. Well, the L96 is a great sniper rifle. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've heard too. I can't say for personal experience because I've never fired one. They're much expensive. Less, much less seen one. Very expensive. They're like four or five grand. Yeah, well, I would imagine. Only, yeah. Yeah, but the, but They're because four or of five the, grand and Lapua Magnum is a hundred dollars for twenty. It's very expensive. <gasps> to, to I can't shoot. imagine I would get my hands on one living in California. Nope. No, you can. You it's, can. It's, yeah. expensive. it's just incredibly expensive. You could do it, kid. So what's next? I don't know. You just blast Sully with the AK. What's next? <laughs> this time, stay dead. Wait a second. And Elena's like, Drake, what the hell? do with these symbols. Symbol. Seashell. Shell. Snake. Crown. Snake. Crossed arrows. Snake! Goblet. Book. Anchor. Okay, I have no clue what to do. Um... Navarro really tore this place up. Hey Parker. Hmm. Did you have trouble with this puzzle too? <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Wait, the crown should stay normal? <laughs> or uh probably. Maybe. You sure we're in the right place? No. Just remember you can't be me at fourteen or else you can't solve shit. <laughs> Book. Aha. Uh -huh. It was a trap. And the clam should be upside down. She sells seashells by the seashore. Oh my god, I actually said it. She said. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? She sells. Oh, okay, what's. You guys seen Soviet Wobble? Yeah. I've heard of them. I am... Guy tried to do a tongue twister and botched Ooh. the fuck out of it because he has a speech impediment. Oh. Too. Uh -huh, looks like we're in business. Yeah. Oh, desecrating remains. Heads up. Another crime committed by he Drake. He just tosses it. Heads up. Heads up. This is uh, the Black Plague. That guy had the Black Plague. I don't know. the Spanish flu. Could be a dead end. Wait. It looks like there might be a passage this way. Uh oh. Oh shit. What the hell's that? Sully, get out of there. Huh? It's a trap! The trap. Sullivan, are you okay? Sully! Yeah, yeah, fine. Still in one piece. You knocked me on my ass, though. Yeah, well, <laughs> you better get back to the library. We're gonna have to find another way out of here. Knocked me on my ass, though. 